Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about the basics of MATLAB. So, and when I say basics, I do mean the so just to get you started, just to introduce what MATLAB is, and uh, and yeah. So let's just start. Uh, okay. So as you probably know, MATLAB is is a programming language that is much more easier than say C or C plus plus because you don't have to worry about memory, defining variables or any of those uh, tiny little quirky things that you would have to do with C or C++. Okay, uh, the first thing that you do with any any program is hello world. So, here we go. So, the print function, the one that I like to use is called fprintf. Uh, there's also another function called disp, if I remember correctly. Anyway, I'll show you this one first. fprintf hello world, enter, and there you go. Okay, so um, what this is what this is doing is simply outputting it into a command window. So this is the command window. Uh, you can type type uh, any, any program that you want to in here. It's not really recommended that you do it later on, but for now I think that's enough. Uh, the reason that we got this, this uh, double uh, greater than sign over here is that that's that's the prompt okay so if I go back here and put a new line command which is slash n and go enter there you go it'll, it'll give me a new line before I start my uh, prompt the next thing that we need to know is assigning uh, so so suppose my variable is called a I assign the number one a equals one now I can Instead, instead of going 1 plus 1, I can go a plus 1 and you get the answer is equal to 2. So you can you can do a whole lot of these, uh, go a plus 4, 56, you can, whatever it is, uh, it's really easy to do in MATLAB. Now, th that's really not where the power comes from in MATLAB. In MATLAB, the power comes from the fact that you can really deal with matrices. So I'm going to show you um, how to assign a matrix. So. I'm going to say again A equals, so it doesn't matter that I've already assigned onto A, it's just simply going to forget the association with just one, in fact it's going to delete it and create this new variable called A, and then I'm going to have it as one, uh, square brackets, one, two, three. Okay, now this, this is a row vector, I'll show you how it looks like, now if I want to get a matrix I want to put the next few lines the next line the next row sorry in the next line so I'll go four five six so the semicolon separates the the rows okay go enter and there you go uh, now if I go back to if I go back to a equals one two three and I want that as a column vector instead of a row vector uh, okay I can and one more trick, I can either type or I can press the up button to, to get to where I was before. And to make it a column vector, I transpose it and the transpose symbol is the little single quotation sign. Oh, before I forget, uh, if I come back to hello world, uh, I put single quotation sign. So it's a bit different to C or C++ if you're used to it, because you just use single quotation signs. So, as far as an introduction goes, I think, uh, oh, I think we've covered most of it, but I think the last, one, last thing that I want to do is a plot function. Um, so this, personally, uh, the plot function, it's, MATLAB is probably one of the most powerful plot functions I've, I've come across. Uh, anyway, I'll, sh I'll show you how, how it works. So, I'm going to say x is equal to uh, one, two, three, and y is equal to, I'll again go one, two, three. Now if you notice, uh, this is x equals, uh, y equals x function that I'm plotting, okay? So what you do is you go plot x comma y. And there you go, that's our plot. I suppose I want to change that to a to make it look red. 
I'm going to put single quotation sign R, R for red, and close the quotation, go enter, and then you'll see that's my line. Right, we'll stop it there for, for now and I'll introduce you to more concepts later on. Thank you.